Canada has not fell short of producing some of the NBA's best young talent over the past years. But when it comes to this certain player, from its 49 inch vertical to its ability to always know how to put the ball in the basket with so much ease at his own pace is what makes him scary. And while it has seemed as though he's practically always had it easy and his come up was overnight, the truth of the matter is that it wasn't. But he had a vision and stayed with it. This is the Shade and Sharp story. Shaden Sharp was born on May 30th, 2003 in London, Ontario, Canada. Growing up in a town that was known for their football and hockey really played a big part in football becoming his first love. And right from his childhood days, he simply dominated on the field and things were looking just way too easy for him. But right before starting high school, he sadly broke his leg in a semifinals football game, causing his family to really have a change of heart when it came to his football career. But ultimately, it changed the trajectory of his dreams. But he would start to notice, as time passed on, that basketball could be his number one option and that if he really ventured and conditioned for it, then he could go places. And a big part in Shaden really gaining his confidence and momentum back to really pursue another sport was his parents as they each believed in him. So much so to where they often went on five hour drives from London, Ontario, all the way to Toronto for Shaden to train and work on his game with some of the best developmental coaches around. But for high school, he attended H.B. Bill Secondary School in his hometown of London, Ontario, but even went on to lead his team to an Ontario Federation of School Athletics Association's title. And although he was one of the best players on his team, he still was under the radar. But right after winning the title, he decided to make a change of scenery and made the move to Sunrise Christian, which was located in Bel Air, Kansas. And while he did think the move was going to elevate his status, he didn't produce as much, only averaging six points, which led him to not get as many minutes as he would have thought. It just really wasn't the very best fit, which led him to transfer to Dream City Christian School that is located in Glendale, Arizona. And this is where you can say he started to get going. He just had a crazy exceptional athletic ability, but he really put his 6'6 frame to the best of use along with his 6'11 wingspan. But still, even at the beginning of his junior season, he was still unranked, but his work ethic along with his notoriety really started to take off because after averaging over 20 points per game, he was able to receive some big time offers from schools like Kentucky and Kansas. But here's where things really started to elevate for him. And this was going into the summer in the EYBL circuit. He was able to put up 23 points, six rebounds and three assists per contest. He was just a man amongst boys and everything came way too easy for him, which allowed him to go from unranked to the number one player in his class. Every move that he made just looked it way too effortless and also showed a lot of comfortability from his shooting stroke to his crazy athleticism. He was the best in the nation. He ended his summer circuit, finishing as the leading scorer in all of EYBL. He was in a league of his own when it came to his variety of different ways he could put the ball in the basket. It was just mind blowing how everything transpired so quick for him. So with Shaden having one more year left of high school as he was a member of the 2022 recruiting class, he and his family came up with the decision for him to reclassify and graduated a semester early to play for the University of Kentucky. And the reason that he decided to make that school his choice was because out of all the other options in colleges, he basically just thought that Kentucky would be the best option to prepare him for the NBA. And he was on set to have a dynamic type outbreak of a season 
but he ended up not playing a single game and instead trained and really prepared for the 2022 NBA draft, which really did frustrate the Wildcat fan base. And Sharp even acknowledged himself, saying that it was his decision not to play. And by now, he was already projected six on the boards. Now, since he was going to be 19 by the time the draft rolled around, his graduation date created the biggest question mark because based on the NBA standards written, players must be one NBA season removed from high school graduation to be eligible. And although the situation should have been as simple as that, it was a bit more complex. But nevertheless, somehow, Sharp was officially declared eligible for the 2022 NBA draft. And although he was regarded as the mystery man, due to his absence, NBA scouts really knew about the kid and was for certain about his raw talent and knew it would translate into the NBA well. It was just safe to say that he was one of the most talented players entering the draft. From his athleticism to his shot creation, and out of everyone, he had the highest vertical and all those things led him to enter the 2022 NBA draft and he went seventh overall to the Portland Trail Blazers but in his first official NBA Summer League debut versus the Detroit Pistons he suffered a small labral tear in his left shoulder which did force the organization to shut down Sharp for the remainder of the summer league. So with Sharp entering his rookie season with plenty of hype and excitement, there was also a lot of people questioning and wondering on how he would actually produce. On the offensive end, he just looked relatively comfortable, especially coming off the ball and knowing how to use his screen. His stellar finishing mechanics has definitely transferred to the NBA, but he's most definitely learned how to use his mid-range and floater and has been amazing when it comes to moving without the ball. Now he's also carried over to the NBA that sense of urgency to really show effort on the defensive side of the ball and has basically shown that he really has discipline and could possibly be a solid defender later on down the road. In the preseason, he managed to average 12 points, three rebounds, and one block per game. Now, in the regular season, He's been able to average eight points, three rebounds, along with one assist per game. But each and every game, he's been seeming to really pick up quick and has really found his niche and his role on the team. Sharp has even been able to shoot 46% from the field and 40% from three. Now, despite it being very early in his career, it's safe to say that he's going to be here for a while. Shaden Sharp is someone that has all the tools he needs in order to be a top player in the NBA very soon. But even back in high school, when it seemed as though that his hard work was going into waste as he practically moved across the country trying to find the right school to really find his niche, he stayed true to himself and always seemed to remain super poised and humble in the midst of the good and bad. So there's some ups and downs, um, but I mean, going from high school, to college and not playing your college season. And then, I mean, straight to the NBA. Um, it's quite the journey, but you know, every, every step of the way, I just fought and had fun with it. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Shade and Sharp story.